wealthy businesswoman calls police to say her mansion was burning down, but when the firefighters saw the blaze, he was so angry that he almost vomited blood. You call that a house on fire? The firefighters quickly took care of everything. They were ready to go to the next rescue site. But the woman suddenly came out in a frenzy. She said that a diamond necklace worth nearly $10 million was missing. She insisted that some firemen had taken it. Soon the fire brigade was visited by an investigation by the higher-ups. Yes. It was the wealthy businesswoman who called the police. Matt was convinced that the team hadn't taken the necklace. But according to procedure, the firefighters needed to cooperate with the investigation. The first step was to search everyone's personal lockers. The men were angry, but they did what they were told. Who would dare disobey the leader? But Griffin, who was in charge of the investigation, wanted to take it personally because he had a problem with Matt. So he's convinced that the fireman stole the necklace and he's going to take advantage of it to get back at Matt. Matt is so angry that he's about to beat him up. That's when the police call went out. The firemen were ready to go. Of course, the search had to be suspended. Griffin was furious. Firefighters arrive at the scene of the accident. A private car had crashed into a street lamp. The driver of the car ran away. Only one man was left trapped. According to his confession, the driver hit a courier boy on a bicycle. The firefighters did not find the injured man at first until they saw a finger in front of the car. It turned out that the courier boy had been run over under the car. But unfortunately, he had lost his vital signs. The firefighters didn't have time to feel sorry for him. First, they had to pry open the car door. The main priority was to get the man out. The job of finding the missing driver was left to rookie Peter. He soon saw a man standing on the bridge a short distance away. Peter did his best to calm the man down. He had wounds on his body. He must be the driver who caused the accident.